Hey everybody, today we're going to learn how to read a book, right? Yay! Yeah, Dale is here from the Fun Kids Play blog, right? Yay! <laughs> and he has a bunch of books and he brought all his friends. It's always good to, to look for the kind of book that is age appropriate for your child. Also, for children who are reading to their parents, you should try to find books that um, have words that are easy enough or appropriate enough for your child to read. Um, some beginning learners need a large print and a few words. Some other things important to re remember about books are the pictures in the book. There are oftentimes beautiful pictures in the book and these will allow you to do uh, theater as you read. You can, in other words, describe what's going on after the child reads. It's always best really to let the child read first and not use pictures so much to figure out what the story is. But the pictures are there for a good reason. It's always good to emphasize what is written with uh, the pictures. So you can use um, theatrics and pronunciation and all kinds of different methods to help the child figure out um, what's going on in the book. As you're reading the story, you can give each character a different voice. Um, you can emphasize what they're saying to each other. Some, some characters may be uh, afraid or, or doing mischief or being frightened or some are being friendly and happy and joyful and you can explain these words um, in such a way and emphasize the words in such a way that the child can learn. You can point. Pointing to different uh, characters in the book helps the child to focus. The child can learn from questioning. Is the rabbit's fur soft? Is the dog running fast? What sound does a bird make, Dale? Tweet. Tweet, tweet, right? Mm -hmm. And after the story, you can ask more questions or talk about it with, with the child. Mm -hmm. Remember the story, Peter Rabbit? Mm -hmm. Where did Peter go? Was Peter scared? Who scared Peter? Don't rely on just school to teach your child. You can read every day and teach your child and learn on the go. For example, you're picking up some fruit. Is it healthy for them? Now, those are the kinds of things that are important to learn. And if you, if you go outside, play in the park, or work in the garden, or any kind of activity, activity is important, exercise is important. Many books show the characters in the book having some kind of activity, doing something, either outside, or playing games, or whatever it is, they're active. And activity translates to exercise, and exercise translates to good health. But many books are just stories that children love to hear. There are holiday stories. And it's always fun to have friends with you. Some of your uh, stuffies can sit along and listen and learn as well. So let's read a book, okay? This is how we read a book. So you always look at the book, and what's this called? The front. Um, the Very Hungry Caterpillar's First Spree. Wow, Dale read that part. And this is a really cool book for kids. Read the words. <laughs> There's so much to do on a bright spring day when Go ahead. Try it. The first letter. What is it? Um. The 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 first letter is W. W. And the next letter is A. So pronounce it. What? Way. What's the third letter? Um. R. M. Spell it out. Warm. Warm. Water. What weather? Warm weather melts. Winter 
snow away. Yay! And this is a beautiful, first two pages of the book are beautiful. They show the whole story of what Dale just read. And it's so cool. There's a picture of a, looks like a barn and a tree and a butterfly in the sun and some flowers and a caterpillar. And it's a very good picture that goes with the story. Okay. So we flip the page. And what's on the next page? What does it say? Outside. Good. Grass grows and trees sprout. New leaves. What what are these called? Clouds. Clouds. Leaves. Shape. <laughs> it is a sheep though. There's a sheep cloud, see? But the word is shape. <laughs> Go ahead, quick as you can. As they float in the breeze. Excellent. So Dale had a little trouble with a few words. That's why someone needs to be around to help uh, guide them through the letters and the vowels and the pronunciation uh, of each word. And this is another page with uh, the words are big and, and fairly small and very few which is good and the picture goes along with the story right yeah yay so we'll read one more page before we explain some things to the students right uh-huh find an umbrella to help keep dry when rain drips down Dribbles. Drizzles, yeah. Drizzles down from gray clouds in the sky. Excellent, Dale. You're very good at pronouncing words and figuring out what they say. So you've learned a lot just from preschool and kindergarten. Those classes and those teachers help each student to understand not just words on a page, but groups of words and different types of pronunciations of vowels and also the uh, punctuation on the page. For example, commas and exclamation points and periods are very important to identifying uh, sentences when they begin and end and how they're enunciated or emphasized. So there are so many aspects of learning how to read other than just pictures and words on a page. Is that right, Dale? Mm -hmm. What do you see in this picture? Um, a girl holding an umbrella. Yay! With what? The caterpillar, yeah. the grass, the rock, the, the bunnies, and another brown bunny, and a blue jay in a tree. <laughs> and clouds. And the clouds and the rain coming down, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the story goes very well with the pictures, and that's how we learn. By association, associating the environment around us and the things that are around us, connecting those to the words that have meaning in our lives. And for kids, reading is about fun, learning how animals and people interact and interact with the environment, with the weather, with the rain. So we'll read one more page and we'll go on from there. Right, Dale? First we got to tickle, tickle, right? Tickle, tickle. Have a little fun while you do it, right? Feel the cool wet raindrops fall to the ground. Filling puddles. Puddles, not this pronounced D, not T, right? Mm -hmm. Puddles. Puddles for mm -hmm. splashing, but wait. Go ahead, that's it. That's an exclamation what? point, but wait. What's that sound? What's that sound? That's a, a question mark. They're asking a question. They hear something, right? Mm -hmm. What's that sound? So it makes you wonder, what's the next page going to say? <laughs> it's a surprise, right? Mm -hmm. Quack. Those duck wings. Ducklings, right. Following their mother, bees, bees, and her toads. Toads croak, making me music with each other. Making music with each other. So the question before was, what's that sound? And so you wonder, you're curious, what's going on? You hear quack, quack in this story, 
we're learning about what's that sound comes from the ducks and the what? And the and the bees. And the 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 ducks, duck, ducks, ducks. Ducklings and the toads. And there's even looks like grasshopper or cricket. And they're all making sounds out in nature, right? Probably the wind's blowing. What does the wind sound like? And the rain hits on the ground, goes what? Yeah. So folks, we're gonna let you get this book and finish reading it with your kids or with some kid you know or volunteer at your church or your local organization and volunteer to help other kids read because it's important for society that kids know how to read. But take this book uh, first spring and go out and learn how to read, okay? What did we learn today, Dale? Um, how to read a book. Yay! Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Dale has a... Funky Playbook. Yay! Yay. And that goes with his YouTube video, YouTube channel called... Dale's Playtime. So all the videos are free. Go to the blog, check out the different activities that are there, the different programs, all the different channels, things you can go to. There's so much content in Fun Kids Play Blog. And please, please, please remember to get Dale's uh, merchandise. Yay, merchandise is so important. Yeah. And be sure to like and subscribe to Dale's Playtime. Yay. Yay. Bye, everybody. Bye.